Good morning, YouTube. This is all the way George Page, a.k.a. the Emperor of Female Body Building Talk, coming to you live, live on YouTube. Anyway, today is a very special day to a very, very special lady, and this was to uh, very wish a very happy birthday to one Miss Sue Price. And you know, a while back I did an interview with Miss Sue Price, and um, she is a legend in sport of bodybuilding. Um, even though she wasn't a, uh, it was a pro for very long, she's been in sport from the uh, good part of the 90s, and she um, had a great impact to me in sport, being she came in as one of, considered one of the shortest women at the time of the, uh, in the sport in rather the early 90s. Most of the time, um, she competed as a lightweight as an amateur, and she made a pro debut about around 92, 93. Um, many, uh, most time when a women, when most women who compete, who gets the pro level, usually it's like heavyweights and middleweights, but she was really one of the few lightweights to ever get as far as a pro. But for her size and her, and her physique, she had an amazing body and, you know, she was just, just, a, just had a great look to her. But the one thing she, we talked about in the interview that she wasn't want to go to that next level. As you know, back in those days, she was competing with the likes of, Laura, of Linda Murray, Laura Craval. Kim Zavetsky. I mean, there were some great, great women back in those days. And she understood that what she wanted to do to get to that level, she wasn't going ready. She wasn't ready to do. But, you know, I respect that decision for her to walk away from the sport. But after that, she also had a career in acting. Um, she starred in the uh, Nemesis movies, where she played the character Alex, which was a future Richard cyborg. And it was pretty good. I've seen some of the movies. I remember seeing the first time she was in I think, Nemesis 2, the first time I saw her in it. And then after a while, she settled down, got married, and had two wonderful kids. And, you know, she's proud of her kids. They uh, now are going to school and working, you know, establishing stuff as adults. And also, she's a hardworking member of the United States Postal Service. And you got to respect that because one of my sisters, she used to work for the Postal Service. She worked in the sorting um, part of the uh, uh, plant where they sort the mail. And that's a tough job. And she's a and she was a mail carrier. And right now, she's out on uh, medical leave because of a shoulder injury issues and also she's a big fan of the legendary brian may who is the lead guitarist for the group queen and well most people are more of the Freddie mercury fan but you gotta respect the fact that she loves brian may that's a she's a she if you go you go to her her facebook she has a lot of brian may pictures she loves brian may and i like sue she's a great lady a great legend i mean a beautiful person inside and out and and you know what even though in the back in the day where she had to make the decision to walk away from the sport because of the fact where she wasn't willing to go to the next level because of uh, what um you know how the sport the way the sport was going, you got to respect her choice. But today, I think if she was competing, she would make a great physique competitor. You know, you know, and, and this is I think the reason what this she's the reason why I think they really want to see more of a classic look in the, in women's bodybuilding division. But like I said, you know, Sue Price is a great lady, a great person. You know, we've been Facebook friends for a while. We often um, chat every now and then on Facebook. She posts some stuff. I reply. She replied to my aunt, you know, every now and then. I think um, this is why I'm doing this because, you know, I really like Sue. And I want to wish her a very, very happy birthday and many, many, many more. It's your man, Oliver Ray George Page, a.k.a. The Emperor of Female Bodybuilding Talk, like don't like, subscribe, don't subscribe. I'm out.